this is from AI Nero, and this is their gun safe. If you do have handguns in your house, if you do have important documents, even if you don't have handguns, you just want to have important documents saved. So let's talk about simple opening. Finger, open. Now, everybody sees this, they think it's a gun. This is actually not a gun. This is just a replica. Now, a couple things about it. The metal on it is not as thick as some of the other ones out there, and it is a little bit lighter. So you're kind of giving up some of that, that real thickness for convenience. That said, it's plenty thick for what you need it to do. Now, programming is pretty easy. You can hold the reset button down here, and that will actually reset the unit. Then you have to add in a digital code. You have to put in a key press code in here before you put the fingerprints in. And then when you hit add, you can add additional fingerprints and so on. It also comes with something that was an additional cost with other vendors, which is this pouch. So this is a fireproof document bag. So you can see this is just basically silicone coated fiberglass, I believe. You can put important documents. Maybe you've got some passports and got some other stuff in here. Now I've only programmed this finger in. If I go to the other fingers, it's not working. If I put that finger on, it worked. So opening speed is pretty good. It's actually based on the hinges. Now here's where things start to get a little questionable which is it's got exposed hinges. And again, I think the purpose of this is actually for lightweight portability. It's you know compact in size enough that it could fit under your car seat. So this is one of the things that it comes with, which I'm super impressed with. And that is this steel braided cable. And what that cable is supposed to do is wrap around the leg of your car, a water pipe, anything you want that's not easily removed. So in this case, you loop it around, you know, maybe it's the leg of your car, <laughs> on your, of your you know, seat on your car, and you put this other end through the unit. Now, if somebody decides that they're gonna take off with your lockbox, maybe you do money drops with your car, and maybe you need to lock it in there, this is now locked into your car, which is kind of cool. Pretty easy to operate. You can add multiple codes, multiple uh, fingerprints in there. That's their biometrics. Now, I did a code and it did allow me to put a stupid code in. Now, the other manufacturers have blocked some of that. You can't do one, two, three, four. I wouldn't do any sort of sequence in there. Um, you know, as far as construction, a couple other things that could be better, like on the edge here, I see a little bit of a seam if I came down here. Some other manufacturers build them up a little bit higher so that it's, you know, not as easy to do a pry tool or something under there, maybe a screwdriver. Let's talk about some other things. As far as wall mounting, that's a real common use case for these. So if you're gonna, um, you know, put this in a bedroom, I would highly recommend wall mounting it or mounting it in a way that it can't be removed. You know, it, this is only going to slow somebody down if they really want to get to your firearm. So I would recommend wall mounting it. Now on the back side, you might be able to see those two little dots and those are two little screw holes. Now it comes with two really small screws. It has really good foam padding all the way around so if your you know handgun is going to be bouncing around in here it's going to be well taken care of there's no sharp edges for it to hit things like that so that was another exciting thing about it now on to the one weakness of this it does have a backup key so you can use a backup key if you need to you forgot your code the batteries died something like that happened you can literally open it up with the key really really fast comes with two keys but I just wanted you to be aware of that, that the lock is the weak link in this whole unit. So I have to put the key back in to unlock it now. So you can use the key as a backup. It is pickable, but 99% of all locks are. So this is from, again, AI Nero. This is their instruction set. It's got a full set of instructions on how to set it up. The only thing you gotta really remember on this is put your code in first and then start adding your fingerprints. You've gotta do that in that order here. And then they've got a help app, but it doesn't actually have app control. It's not Bluetooth in any way. So some people may actually prefer that because that's not another way it could be attacked. So then it's got some basic Q and A here and some information about it as well. So that is from AI Nero, their gun safe.